to development football and Paul Muchanga emerged the winner of the inaugural edition of the Baxa football tournament held at the Nakuru Athletics Club. Paul Muchanga defeated Avfall 3-2 on post-match penalties after both teams settled for a barren draw at full time. Charles Odemba, Samuel Gishugo and Lewis Waidaka were on target for Paul Machanga, while Samuel Muga and Inka Otieno netted for Avfa. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you so much, Mr. Francis, who is a parent. Kila kitu Mungu kwa Na pia tunashukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwa ule mfadhili ambaye tuletea kikombe. It's important that we, we tap these youth, at the, these youth at this age because we might blame them uh, for the vices, for the wrong things going on in society and saying that we expect this for this. But we have to work as a government and, and as parents and as society to give these young people a chance, for the, a chance to be able to survive. Golf professional David Waku played a score of four under par to lead his team to victory with a combined score of 86 points to win the pro Am event of the first leg of the 2019-2020 Safari Tour event played at the Nyali Golf and Country Club. Waku played in the company of amateur golfers Mohamed Issa, John Middleton and Hilda Mugure. The team of pro Alfred Nandwa, Paris, Vanessa, James Maguru and Terry Odo finished with a combined score of 84 which includes included Nandua's individual score of a level par. Shot, bro. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sure. Of course, uh, the Safari Golf Tour continues today at the Nyali Country Golf uh, Country Club, and we'll be paying attention to that. We'll be bringing you the results uh, later on. Earlier on in the morning at the Nyao Gymnasium here in Nairobi, we had the floor championships taking place, and this is uh, what to expect in the next edition. So far, what what are the reception have you received from uh, the players in Kenya so far? I think the reception is good. Uh, being a young sport, uh, floorball is fun, and uh, the introduction has been good. We have 21 teams already participating in the tournament today, uh, from yesterday and today, in different categories. So the reception is good. Having like seven counties already out of the 47 in the country, do you feel like uh, the reception you're getting from other countries uh, is going to be well? And uh, what uh, measures do you have to put in place so that the next time you're having the national championship, you'll be representing um, more counties will be represented in this tournament? I think we have more than the seven you said. We only have seven counties represented in the national championship today. But we have other counties that were not able to come. Uh, but the reception is good. The sport is growing fast and uh, we are enjoying. It's fun. Uh, having uh, yesterday the junior, the junior championships and uh, today, uh, today the, 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 the seniors are playing. And from the games that were played yesterday from the under-19 players and the juniors, like Tsunami from Nairobi who won the championships, uh, how are the kids responding to this sport? I think the kids are responding well, especially kids from the uh, community, majorly. Uh, but we are now in the process of introducing the sport to the institutions, the primary schools and uh, the secondary schools as well. But we had very competitive matches uh, yesterday and we are glad based on the investment, our investment in the kids, then we have a future in floorball uh, right here in Kenya. Currently, skaters are playing, and I understand that there's a match they lost, and uh, they are the Kenya national team, uh, which uh, most of them are the Kenya national team players. Uh, is it that the competition is starting to get stiffer and stiffer? I think our players have not played together. They are good players, very, very good, from different institutions. But this being their first uh, tournament together, then it's a learning experience for them, and they are playing well. And we believe that uh, come September, our players will win 
the African Championships. Uh, talking about the African Championships, uh, this is the skaters team and uh, you've put the national team seniors together. Uh, are you feeling like there's some people you'll have to drop from the squad of the skaters and maybe add up from the ones that you've seen are playing better in these national championships? I think uh, we have done a lot to invest in uh, the current team that is there. And it's just a few polishing up here and there. These guys are good. And I am sure that they will take the African Cup, just as I said. Of course, 21 teams took part uh, in the floorball uh, tournament at the Nyao Gymnasium uh, earlier on uh, in the morning. Right now, I want us to cross over to the Kasarani Stadium, where Jeff Mogire is on uh, standby. And uh, Kenya Premier League champions Gormai are taking on uh, Burundi's uh, Eagles, uh, that is uh, the... Aigol Nua uh, in uh, the CAF Champions League preliminary round, the second leg that will be played at 4 p.m. Kenyan time. Jeff, what should we expect in this tie? A lot of expectation, Robinson, from here, the Kasarani. Gorma here, as you can see, they are getting into the entry the competitors entrance at the moment uh, they are arriving now just a few minutes ago black eagles from burundi arrived here at the kasarani stadium ready for the clash we saw the referees checking the fields if it's okay if it's worth playing on and they were there a few minutes ago but now kormai have also arrived here to ensure that they beat the deadline they make sure that they win also on the other side on the top there there are fans of gorma here trying to welcome their players to come in they are very much expecting a lot of things from the gormai expectation they, they hope that today is their day to ensure that they win and if they win today totally Another expectation, expecting them on the second leg, when maybe they meet USM Alga from Algeria, or they meet uh, uh, Sunny Deep from uh, Nijar. It's, it's a lot to expect of Gormaya, but again, we'll be expecting a lot at the end of the day. But I want to give you the protocol of security here and everything that is how it's happening and how everything is going on. One, Gorma, from the entrance, on the, the first entrance gate two, they are... 24 GSU officers, General Service Unit officers, manning the gates there. Then you come into the second gate to the competitor's entrance. There's, there are three trucks of police officers. And around the stadium, there's a lot of security de de details or security officers deployed here to ensure that everything works. On the other far end, there's a... Uh, if, you can, if you can walk with me, uh, there's a, an ambulance on the other side waiting to see if anything happens, they can come in to save the situation at the other side of the stadium. But also, there's also a firefighter uh, engine that is on the other side ensuring that uh, everything is okay. But the fans have not arrived at the stadium at the moment. As we walk into the stadium, we're walking into the stadium to show you exactly what we are talking about. We are talking about fans not being here. Some are saying that the, the, the census exercise has made some of the fans to leave Nairobi for the village. Maybe some of them have gone to the village, but we don't know. We're not sure about that information. But at the moment here, just two hours to Gormaya's clash against uh, Black Eagles over from Burundi, there, is no, there are very, a, few, a few fans, countable fans, that you can count one, two, three fans who have arrived here. And uh, we don't know if they are going to show up because there's a lot, of, a lot of activities happening. Remember, Gormaya fans are affiliated to the ODM. Odium party, some of them may be in Kibera because I've seen some, some, some tweets on online that after Kibera we're coming to Kasarani. So hopefully after Kibera Kamkunji uh, uh, grounds um, uh, campaign tour that is happening at the moment, they'll be coming here to support their team. What I was talking about in the other far end is the ambulance, two ambulances, one pink, the pink one and the other one is yellow and greenish in color. The two ambulances are here to ensure that in case of any emergency, they'll just move in swiftly there. The, 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 the attendants in those ambulances can move in swiftly and attend to the players who might get injured or anything happens in this field. And at the far end, there's a red truck there. The truck is an, an, a fire engine that is ensuring that in case of anything, in case of any fire that can occur here, when anything happens, anything can go wrong in football, as we know. So they are ensuring that uh, they can just also move in swiftly and save the situation. But at the moment, this, this is all about in music and entertainment. It's all about waiting to see what happens. On the other side, you can see the flags of FKF, Kenya National Flag, and CAF Confederation, uh, the, the CAF, Africa, CAF, Afri Africa governing body, CAF flag on the other, flying high. And we hope that... Uh, this flag's a representation, as, a, as some of the representations of, uh, of what it means to have this clash of years cup. But from here, the Kasarani at the moment, Robinson, at uh, the moment as we speak, 
we are also waiting to see if the fans will come in, to see if Gormaya are going to make it like Al-Bandari Al made it. Al-Bandari beat uh, Al-Chandi from Sudan. 1-1, one, one, they drew by the away, the away could help them to move forward. But again, Gormaya is here, it's their day today, and they will determine whether we are going to move forward in this Camp Confederation qualifiers or not. It's their day and their determination. All of it, it's their fate is in their hands. Rani Stadium here in Nairobi waiting to see how uh, Gormaya will take on uh, that uh, is Igol Nua or the Black Eagles from Burundi in the Cup 